The nice thing about vector graphics is that no matter how big or small it is, it always looks good. Pretty handy for a power app that is supposed to run on multiple screen sizes. Vector graphics can be embedded in a canvas app using SVG, a human readable and arguably writable format. But to be honest, I don't want to write SVGs. I have Visio, a perfectly good tool to draw whatever I want. So let's start here. If you save the file as SVG, Visio will open a browser window showing the image. And if you right click and go to view page source, it will show you the page source, which is the SVG. Usually you will need to do some work to display this code properly in Power Apps, but I've built a custom control which will do that work for you. Let's copy the code from here, go to Power Apps and add that new component. Now we go to the SVG code field and paste the code insert. As you can see, we have the image on screen. But that is not all this component can do. If you click on edit mode, it will switch into an editor which works in runtime as well. This allows me as a user to change the properties of different shapes. For example, if I take a look at this circle, I can change its location on the x-axis like that, and it just works. This editor also supports variables. So I can take any value and replace it with a variable. When I click refresh, the variables will appear here. And if I update their values, it just works. These variables are actually stored in the global context of the app. So if I want to add an external control which controls shapes inside the SVG, I can do that as well. Let's see how it works. Whenever this slider changes, it will change the value of the variable that is entered in the text box below. If I want to make it look even nicer, I can enable the auto refresh mode. So this is it. A component that makes it easier to import SVGs and to work with them in Power Apps not just in the design time, but also in runtime. The entire component is developed in the App Studio, so it should be fairly easy for you to modify it and, quite frankly, fix the many, many bugs I left in there. Leave your thoughts in the comments below and have a lovely day.